Invision connectors are function rich and can be used to create helpful visualizations in almost all methodologies, as well as being effective data repositories. We showed you how to draw connectors in the Drawing Connectors video. Now we will show you how to use connectors and their associated data in reports. First, matrix reports. At first glance, these reports look like Excel spreadsheets. Let's create a simple matrix report. The matrix menu is towards the bottom left of the screen. You can run existing matrices or create a new one. Probably the most common connector matrix is object to object. It shows all of the connections regardless of the direction of flow. The sources to sinks and sinks to sources matrices each show only the connectors moving forward or back. The object to connectors matrix includes the object as well as the connector in the result. First we define the class for rows. In this case it is business capability. For this example we will just use the objects in the current diagram for our rows and columns. Having selected the class for rows we can select as many of the row object types as we wish. Then we select the class for our columns and again select object types. When satisfied with the selection criteria, just press OK. This matrix is now showing the connections on this diagram. If you click on a value in the first column, the matrix refreshes with the populated fields dragged across to the left. This is a larger matrix report. In this row we have connectors going up, linking products and services strategy to customer relationship management and connections coming the other way, linking claims to products and service strategy. This report has extracted information from multiple diagrams. There are thumbnail depictions of the diagrams in the relevant cells. If you click on the thumbnail, the matching diagram is displayed. In this diagram, connectors are linking systems indicating how information flows from one system to the next. Not only do they have spec sheets with data that describes that process, they also have subviews such as an event sequence diagram. Let's take a quick look at an information flow diagram which is part of one of our customers' asset management process. Around the outside of the diagram are the various tasks and external actors. The information flow is represented by an Envision connector. Each connector has a spec sheet or properties form associated with it. And to provide visual guidance, these connectors are color coded and directional. The green arrow at the end of a connector shows that the information flow is healthy. If the arrow is blue, it needs improvement. And if it is red, it is unhealthy. This is the spec sheet that associates data with the connector. The data associated with each connector can be output to a matrix report where it can be sorted, reviewed and updated. Let's see how reports are created and how to run a report. The reports menu with a list of existing reports is on the bottom left of the screen. Reports are set up by Envision system administrators by creating a document profile in the Envision document formatter. When a user requests a document from the menu, the document formatter extracts current data from the Envision project data repository and creates a document with current data. It is then passed to a print or publishing routine for creating hard copy, PDF or web pages. Reports are built in real time using current data. And here is a report that has just been produced as an RTF document. The report formatter has applied a configuration to create a title page in the corporate style and an accurate table of contents. Text has been extracted from object attributes in the data repository and include hyperlinks. Matrices are displayed as tables. Customers are using reports to deliver operational instructions to teams around the world. They also use this report function to reduce the effort and costs involved with statutory reporting. Thanks for watching.